Today in the news, we got ray tracing for everyone, the stacking of stacks, and more. What's up, guys? I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Before we start, let me just give a big thanks to our sponsor, Memory Express. They're based here in Canada and offer a complete price beat guarantee, not to mention their stores, which are a great place to try out all of the newest peripherals before you buy them. Check out their online shop in the link down below. Real-time ray tracing, a technology so advanced that only the best of the best GPUs from Nvidia can run it, right? False. I know I'm exaggerating here, but it really seemed like that is what Nvidia thinks, and it looks like developers want to prove them wrong. The makers of CryEngine, a game engine used in games like Prey, Evolve, and Crisis, just demonstrated that any GPUs can run it by leveraging the proper APIs. Not only that, but the demo they featured in the video is being run on an AMD Vega 56 card. They say that the ray tracing used here is not bound to specific hardware, and it uses DirectX 12 and the Vulkan API, which are both open standards compared to Nvidia's RTX tech. What is interesting here is that AMD might have an advantage since their DX12 performance has always been better than Nvidia's. The demo is called Neon Noir and it's pretty impressive. The textures are worthy of a AAA game and the ray traced elements here are reflections and refractions similar to Battlefield 5. On top of that, the whole thing runs in 4K on a Vega 56. It looks like you won't have to to shell out a buttload of cash to make ray tracing work on your current PC. Now all we need is for other game engines to start using ray tracing in the same way. With what the CryEngine team has just demonstrated, do you think that ray tracing will come to more games more quickly? Let me know down below. Next up, and sticking with AMD, it looks like they too want to start stacking their chips. Late last year, Intel revealed their Lakefield architecture, which uses their Fulveros technology to create a stack that includes the CPU and the memory. They plan on making this happen this year, and they say that they are on track, but we never know with Intel. On the other hand, AMD just confirmed that they too are working on something similar. This was during a presentation at the Rice Oil and Gas High Performance Computing Conference. During the presentation, Forrest Norod explained that to work around Moore's law, they went as far as they could in 2D, and now it's time to take things in the third dimension. What is interesting here is that he actually talked about stacking layers of CPU rather than just stacking memory on top of the CPU. He did touch on the drawbacks like thermal management, but it's nice to see that AMD is thinking about that. I wonder if at some point CPUs are just going to become thick slabs of computing power. Anyways, let's move on. In random news, the most popular music website of 2008, MySpace, just lost nearly 12 years worth of music from 2003 to 2015. It's all gone. Now you might not care at all about this, but I do because I was on MySpace back then and all of my legit tunes are now gone. Hit songs like Show Me Your Smile, Phone Number, and Suis Moi are now gone forever. I mean, look at this dude. That's me back in 2008. It hurts. Oh. In all seriousness, it's a pretty big loss, but I highly doubt anyone goes on MySpace to listen to songs from that era. I don't even know how the website stays alive, honestly. Then in gaming news, we got Apex Legend with the first season battle pass releasing tomorrow. This battle pass will cost $9.50 and will include Octane, which is a new legend for the game. His kit is pretty cool. He can trade 10% of his health for speed and immunity to slowdown effects. His passive ability allows him to regenerate health if he's not been hit in a while, and his ultimate places a jump pad so, well, you can jump to higher ground and have more mobility. I haven't played Apex in a while, so I guess that I'll give give it a shot tomorrow. Are any of you guys going to buy the battle pass? Let me know down below. Anyways guys, that concludes it for today. Hopefully you laughed at the 2008 me. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll be there to answer. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Stay frosty and I'll see you guys on the next one. Seriously though, look at that hair. <laughs> oh my god. What?